Hey Brill Army, if you're watching this video, you're watching the second part of my Q&A. So if you would like to watch the first part of my Q&A, click on the link right about here or click on my face and head over to my channel and watch the first part of my Q&A. So for now, I'm going to address some other questions that I wanted to answer, but the video would be really long. So now I'm just going to go over some other good questions. So let's get started. First question is, why is Lance the hashtag skate guy and would Lance be cooler if he had Brian names beer? That's a really good question. Um, but Lance is the hashtag skate guy because he, he just is. Thou shalt not question the hashtag skate guy and his skills. That sounds about right. And yeah, I think he would be cooler, but Lance is already cool. But I think you guys should go and request him to grow a beard like Brian names. Go tell him. Tell him I sent you. What does your skating career mean to you? And my answer is, I don't really have a skating career. However, I can say that I love skateboarding and I see it as a passion and something that I constantly want to get better at. And that's how I see it. And it's just something that I really want to improve upon every day, progressing. Even if I don't get that good, my goal is always to progress. So my skating career is just getting better at it. All right, so the next question is from Ravens and that's favorite trick. I think I already answered that question but my favorite trick is definitely either a non liberal heel or a kickflip. Either one feels great. And it's just starting to get really sunny, but anyways. What's your biggest fear in skateboarding? And my answer is, well, I guess getting hurt, but then we always get hurt. But then again, the way I see it is you can get hurt doing basically anything. You can get hurt just getting out of the bus, getting out of the car, driving, so the way I see skateboarding is that um, even though getting hurt is my fear, I think of it this way and I think I can get hurt just going down the stairs. I can sprain my ankle. In fact, some of the best skaters have gotten hurt while doing other things other than skating. And that's how I see it. Bobby underscore Ollie's ask, what's your favorite skater? And that's a good question. If I were to answer that question about my all-time skater, I would definitely say Rodney Mullen. However, right now, my favorite skater would either be Seba, Kruktov, Shane O'Neill. They just have the best style ever and I wish I could skate like that. But, you know, dreams not always come true, but you can try to improve. So yeah, definitely Seba, Shane, they're both sick. They both have great style. They are very technical and I really like that. When they are skating, it seems like everything is carefully planned. Every trick, it just looks so perfect. And yeah, so those are my current two best skaters ever. Last question comes from E1 underscore Dale. And it's not really a question, but he's requesting me to say it's a me Mario. And I'm guessing that you want to hear it like Mario says it. So I'll, I'll say it. It's a me, Mario. And there you go. Hope you're happy. Um, so yeah, anyways guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you want to see the first part of this Q&A, head over to my channel and click on my face to head over there. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Braille Army. Also check out my channel, watch part one, watch the trick tip on bubble flips if you wish. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace. Definitely check out Skateboarding Made Simple. It's available on all these platforms, iBooks, BrailleSkateboarding.com, and Google Play. It's the most comprehensive video we've ever made, and it teaches skateboarding better than anything else out there. You won't be disappointed.